Good damn evening, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. Spotify, BitChute, Rumble. Hit that uh, link tree in the description box. Clickety clack. I'll be waiting there for you patiently. And before I get in that ass, like a bike with no seat, let me give a big, special happy birthday shout out to my man, Alberto, Fort Worth, Texas, man. I appreciate the love. Feliz cumpleaños, güey. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I appreciate your viewership. And with people like Alberto, we're going to be all right. So this whole thing that the left is trying to do, dividing, the society, dividing our society, the victimhood, all that bullshit. This is the most expensive well-oiled well -oiled stage production we have ever seen. And like any good stage production, when you see this act coming to an end, you got somebody on deck because you want to keep it flowing. You want to keep that, keep that feng shui going. You don't want there to be a break in the entertainment. So you got to keep it going. So you got somebody on deck waiting backstage behind the curtain. And when they get the, the green light you know, from the, the producer with the headset and they got the clipboard, all right, you're next. When they get ready and they call you on stage, you got to be ready to go and perform. So on deck, next on stage is failed quarterback, fake ass activist, uh, black activist. You know, he's uh, dealing with some internal issues. Remember his bullshit as uh, Colin Kaepernick in black and white? <laughs> One of the worst things I ever laid eyes upon. So Colin Kaepernick is back. Perfect timing. They need him. We got the midterms coming up. People must stay angry and distracted. And what gets people more angry every time? Racism, of course. So now Colin Kaepernick is back in the limelight. He was dying. He was withering. Uh, please give me relevancy. He was almost, he was on death's door. But here they come. All right. Here, Colin Kaepernick. You remember? <laughs> You may not have seen this movie, but if you haven't, you are missing out. It's called Hollywood Shuffle. Uh, written, produced, directed, and paid for by a dude named Robert Townsend. I wonder why they don't talk about people like him during Black History Month. Hmm. Anyway, so he made this whole movie off of his credit cards. But it was uh, spoofs on different movies on the stereotypical black roles that people would get back in the day. But it wasn't this woke bullshit like we have today. But one of the characters, it was this private eye and this skit or this, like, they're not more skits, more like little mini movies, all these different stories, but it's a private, private eye and it's filmed in black and white. You know, it's the whole smoky, uh, detective office and then in walks this dizzy dame, you know, all that kind of shit. And, you know, he has the whole trench coat with the hat and everything. And one of the dudes, he's like a bully. He's one of the bad guys, but he doesn't. He ends up not being shit. But he has a jerry curl, and he's always spraying jerry curl like this constantly. Always got a bottle, shit dripping all over, all over his clothes and shit. He leaves a trail on the ground. I mean, he's just dripping with fucking <laughs> activator, right? So Robert Townsend's character, you know, the the, the private eye, the private dick. He ends up, you know, roughing this dude up and asking him some questions. And he's getting all smart and shit. So he takes his activator and he starts pouring his activator. And the guy's like, yo, no, please, man, I'll tell you, please. Oh, shit, don't pour my activator, man. And as he's saying that, the dude's hair is getting all dry and nappy and shit. And he's like, oh, I'll tell you anything you want to know. And he's putting his hands on the activator on the ground and wiping it in his hair and shit. That is Colin Kaepernick with his relevancy. It was running out. His relevancy was running out. He was withering up, and here they come. So now what Colin Kaepernick is going to do to help black and brown communities, of course, is he is going to pay for the secondary autopsies of people whose death was caused by the police. You got it. You got it. He's done helping you in this life. He's going to help you in the afterlife. So if your death was caused by the police and you meet the criteria, oh, yes. There is criteria. Don't think you're just going to walk your black and brown ass up in there and hand them this case and ask them to do another autopsy. No, there's criteria. You have to, it has to be recommended by a lawyer and all these legal things, all these legal requirements have to be met, blah, blah, blah. Because of course, and he says, you know, 
sometimes, you know, the black and brown communities, they don't get a fair shake because the medical examiners, you know, they have bias toward the police and they want to watch out for their own and make the police look good. And they're going to cover shit up if the police did something wrong. So he says if they, when this have with his organization, that's not going to happen. They are not going to do that shit. There's not going to be any bias because, of course, everything's going to be above board and they're not going to do anything to make themselves look good or make the police look bad. Of course, it's everything's above board. He is above reproach. And so is his organization. Bullshit. <laughs> and here's a question, Colin. Are you going to do the same for police whose deaths were caused by other citizens, regular citizens, non-police? Are you going to do that? If some cop does a traffic stop and then, you know, some thundercat sticks his gun out the window, shoots him in the face. Are you going to do a second autopsy for that cop? Or maybe there's some fishy circumstances. You're going to get in touch with that police officer's family and help them out. Even if they're a black or brown officer because you care about the black and brown community. You didn't say it had to be non-police members of the community. You going to do that? Probably not, huh? Probably. Probably not. There's probably going to be all the cases they do take and won't be a lot. I guarantee you that. All the cases they do take will definitely lean toward their narrative. And in, in the beginning, I mentioned... That Colin Kaepernick was a failed quarterback. Let's talk about that for a second. I just have a question. It's two words. I'm not going to take a lot of your time. Two words. What happened? What happened to all the blue checkmark celebrities talking about how we're not going to do this and we're not going to support that until the NFL lets Colin Kaepernick back in? The NFL is racist because you got this white quarterback and that white quarterback and that other white quarterback and they have jobs and look at their numbers and compared to Colin Kaepernick's numbers. You mean to tell me Colin Kaepernick and all that stupid shit? What happened to that? Where are those people that they forget? Maybe that's what it may be. I'm sorry. Maybe along with the sweet and sour sniffles came a wave of amnesia and they caught it and they just forgot. Or maybe the NFL isn't racist anymore. Maybe the NFL has finally changed its racist ways and it purged the NFL of the 70 to 75% that's black. What happened? Colin Kaepernick had a tryout, didn't he? How come he didn't schedule another tryout? Or another tryout? You know, I'm thinking it's hard to eat when you got a full stomach. So his stomach is full on endorsements. Nike. Uh, he's on the cover of magazines. Essence. Remember that shit where he was all dressed in beige with his flowing afro in the desert? <laughs> oh, get the fuck out of here. So what happened? I just want to know. Is the NFL not racist anymore? Did they have amnesia? What happened? Because nobody's talking that shit anymore. But don't you worry. Don't you fret. People, if your loved one has a death caused by the police and that first autopsy just didn't cut it, no pun intended, Colin Kaepernick will come to your rescue as long as you're from the black and brown community and you meet the requirements to have his, his pathologist take a look at your case. <laughs> get out of here with that shit. Let me get in here with my beautiful wife and kids. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me please subscribe hit that notification bell because every time it rings a piece of shit lefty cries utilize the link tree link get your ass over to jerichogreen.net i am jericho green man i'm out